Amélie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite clothes to wear during this transition period from winter to spring and just also general spring. Um, I'm not going to show you my warmest clothes yet because I feel like we still have a long way to go before it's uh, really hard during the spring. And honestly, it's been raining a lot in London, so I don't think we'll get a very sunny spring at the moment. But yeah, so I'm going to divide this video between my coats, dresses, skirts, t-shirts, and maybe shoes. Actually, shoes maybe not because I'm only wearing sneakers at the moment, so <laughs> and it won't be that interesting. But maybe, I will add it. So let's see how the video goes. So let's go. Okay, so first my coat. So first coat is this coat from Firemark. It's a padded coat. Um, I bought it two or three years ago. Seven pounds, a bargain. And basically this is like my go-to coat when I just need to run like errands in my neighborhood. I don't really have anywhere to go. Maybe when I'm going to sports. It's not a lightweight jacket, but it's like a bit thicker than that. It's great when it's raining. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have like a cap, but <laughs> if it had one, it would be the perfect one. But yeah, this is uh, my go-to one, and I love to wear it during spring because um, it still keeps me warm, uh, but not too warm. Also, I forgot to say, like the thing that I like the most about, about this coat is that it's uh, double-faced. So I can wear either dark green or light green. Which side is your favorite one? Then, of course, the classic of the spring, a denim jacket. If you don't have a denim jacket for spring, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing something wrong. <laughs> this one is from ASOS, no, yeah, ASOS, through so Topshop now. Um, I love it. So, I this is a size, sorry, size 6, 34. It's supposed to be an oversized uh, model. That's why I'm able to wear a size six. Usually I'm a size eight to 10. And I didn't want it to be too oversized because sometimes like it's just too much. And this one is perfect because in the comment section they were saying that it's too oversized so maybe like size down. I size down like by two sizes. And I think still now it's not too fitted. It's fitted enough. But like not too much so it's like not giving you the slim effect so that's why i like it i will put the link uh down if it's still um uh, if they still sell it but that's a great investment and also like it's it's a big material like a good denim now we have this uh full leather jacket it's a pu from jacket from naked I guess leather for spring sometimes it can be controversial, but I love to wear leather in every period. Like it can be really warm outside, I will need a leather jacket. I will wear my my uh, leather shorts. So I don't think it's controversial for me. It's an essential in my wardrobe, and it's also like uh, slightly oversized. So this one I took my um, just a size below mine. Um, because I don't really like the too oversized look and it's perfect. It's uh, also a very uh, regular cut, so it doesn't look too bad. A trench coat, my Burberry trench coat. So I bought it two years ago in a vintage store in, actually no, that's no, three years ago or four years ago, in a vintage store in Paris. It's still my best investment in terms of vintage, actually it might be just uh, the only vintage. Maybe I have one or two vintage things in my wardrobe and it's still the best thing I've ever bought. Um, I think it was $300 uh, not dollars, euros or $250. It was a great price. Uh, the coat was still in a good condition. I think just the only thing it was here, the, um, the tag was a bit you know, unstitched. But otherwise, uh, it's really nice. I bring it to the dry cleaner at the beginning of the season and also at the end of the season before, uh, and nothing happened like it's still perfect love it the only downside is that it is um i don't know if it's a, like it's quite large so it's a size i don't think they had a size anyway or maybe whenever i like it's really basically it's oversized 
and I wish I had like a very maybe straight cut like regular fit than this one so I saw another Burberry jacket a trench one a trench in brown in a vintage shop in London uh, it costs 2,000 pounds why if someone already wore it like you know explain to me <laughs> why 2k but anyway um it's a really nice one so i'm still think still debating debating if i should buy it or not but it's a really nice one maybe i would just try to find on this on this decorative if they have like a cheaper one but yeah i i will still keep it because that's also the perfect trench code i don't want to always have something like that's very like regular like fitted to me like sometimes oversized is nice and look better so it's not really, so it's not really a coat, but it's actually a cardigan. This Massimo Dutti cardigan is the best thing I've ever bought in my life. Well, that's all I have to say. Um, it's very like the gold details for the buttons, very nice. They also have have uh, engraving on the buttons. It screams really nice. Um, also the knit, it's very thick. I think it's one of the best the best knit uh, item I have in my wardrobe because I've been always geared toward uh, like fast fashion, so <laughs> sometimes not the best quality. But this one is really nice. Um, you still, have, I think, like why it still feel lightwear even if it's knit is because like you have uh, space between the stitches, so it's almost feel like it's not a crochet. It doesn't feel like a crochet uh, cardigan, but it's still like. You don't feel you feel warm enough but not too warm so yeah i love to wear it uh both winter spring autumn summer like it's a perfect item i mostly wear it when i go to work sometimes i wear it in a more casual way but that's my favorite go to item for work now onto the dresses so first it's a very summery dresses more than spring and traditional wardrobe but still i wanted to present it to you so this is my uh blue electric blue royal blue whatever you want to call it uh, dress from zara this skirt is so elegant i did see myself in a plage in saint-tropez uh sipping my aperol spritz or my hugo spritz and just enjoying life with my sunglasses of course uh that's all i have to say about this dress <laughs> this shirt dress from river island bought on asus uh, that's my favorite go-to item for work as well during the season because I do think that shirt dress should be something everyone has for their work wardrobe it's so easy to, like you just put shoes like if maybe your work is more casual just put sneakers boots whatever you have and you're all like already like super nicely dressed so that's the thing I like also I love the buttons I saw one of the same like maybe a little bit uh, longer from Ralph Lauren? Not Ralph Lauren. Yes, it's from uh, Ralph Lauren. I wanted to buy it, but unfortunately, when I made my mind about deciding to buy it, it was already sold out. But this one uh, from River Island is still nice. The only downside, I feel like the buttons are a bit too fragile. So sometimes I'm scared they're going to fall out. But <laughs> they're still alive. I've had it for years, so going strong. Uh, then a long um, dress. This one is from Topshop. Um, I do have now a lot of things from Topshop that I think about it. <laughs> uh, this one is yeah from Topshop. Um, so it's not ultimately pleated. It's you know kind of the part that I've pleated for you know linen. Um, it's elastic as well, so that's why I love it. Um, at the bottom, like it's quite uh, more flowy. Um, I love this kind of dresses for uh, um, spring just because they're easy to wear you don't have to wear a jacket because it might be just like you might be warm enough with a long sleeve um, it's in the same I also love pleated dress so I'm showing it as an example but this is not like really pleated but this is the kind of dress I love to wear during the season another denim item so this is a denim dress that I've had for a few years now from Zara um, of course, like it's a basic, you need it, it has, um, you can do a bow, bow. I have a serious problem with that word, <laughs> so you need to help me. Uh, behind, like, I can do it in front, it's nice. I can sometimes I also wear it as just a jacket, you know. Um, watch my last, my previous, my last two videos 
to see how I like to wear it. A silk skirt, you need to have a silk skirt in your uh, wardrobe for this season. Um, it's honestly the easiest way to look nice. Um, whatever color you have, you always look nice. You can just wear a t-shirt with it and you're ready to go. So that's also one of my favorite um, items for this season. Then onto the shirts. Uh, these are three different types. Like, I don't think you need like a ton of them, but you definitely need a white one. This is like a bit, not fancy, but you know, not fancy in the time, like it's super expensive, but fancy in the time, like it's not a like regular shirt with buttons. It's more like uh, opening like a kimono. It's like overlap, it's an overlap shirt. Love it. It's very nice. I can wear it to work. I can wear it more casually or just if I want to party, I'm like with a skirt and think, love it. This, then you have this Barlow shirt, uh, love it. This is a bit more at the okay. um, but it's super nice. And that one is from Naked. The first one was from Prada. This is also from Naked. I just bought it from the dry cleaner, as you can see, it's very perfect. <laughs> I uh, love the color because on Wednesday we were pink, so I need to have my pink thing back. Um, love it. Um, the only thing, so it's not real silk that I have, so you know when you put them in the machine, in the washing machine for a long time or maybe at high speed, um, you have those thread that's coming out. I hate it. I don't know how to avoid doing it. Um, if you have any advice, please give me. Uh, but yeah. That's just normal shirt, perfect. Now uh, onto the skirt, I guess. Um, so not many that I, I, I have many skirts uh, that I like. Um, actually, I just realized that I showed you a skirt before, so I'm not going to do this video again. <laughs> We're just going to say now onto the skirt. So in skirt, I also have these uh, black slits, so two slits on the side. Uh, skirt, it's from Topshop. Uh, I don't really, I don't know why I have so many things on Topshop now. It's because I spend all my time on the ASUS now, that's why. Um, you always need a black skirt. Whatever season it is, you always need a black skirt. So it's going to be a uh, wardrobe essential for each. Then a skirt, I do think this is the best season to, uh, to have skirts. At this moment, I will wear them with uh, tights, but when it's summer, it's perfect. Maybe this one is a bit too thick for summer, because like sometimes it can be quite heavy. This one is from Zara, they have the best skirt. Uh, but yeah, the only downside of the Zara skirt is that on the back, why does it have to be so short? Like, I don't want to show my ass cheek to everyone, so please do something, Zara. Thank you. These jeans, uh, you might have seen them a lot in my reels lately. Um, these jeans from uh, ASOS, ASOS Design, actually it's Topshop, oh, Topshop Hourglass, why do I have, Topshop is my new Zara basically, <laughs> these one are, it's a size 40, yeah 40, they kind of high waisted but I love the baggy effect on this one, because um, I don't like slim jeans anymore so I just want something that doesn't, I don't feel trapped in and this is like perfect. Um, I brought it with me when I went on my holiday to the US, I still have to put box on that and that was the most comfortable uh, jeans to walk in all day long. And I also have another version, so these are light blue, still the same from Topshop, Hourglass. And um, these one are a 28, so 38, so it's a size like, that's not exactly my size. So these one are a bit more fitted around the tie, so if you have like <laughs> this one will be like a bit more fitted so you need to if you want something more baggy just take a size higher if you want something that's you know it's still flare like at the bottom is still like kind of a flare baggy size so it's fine it's just like how do you feel at the tight so. I have another dress actually that I forgot to show you of course so this one is from Primark it's a ripped shirt so it goes like it's kind of like a turtle like effect I love it. This is more like a transitional item, so it's not, I wouldn't say wear it at the height of the summer, but like before this season, like we're early April, it's a perfect thing. Then I have this uh, rugby polo from Naked. Don't have anything to say, but 
those kind of items you need to have at least one in your wardrobe because on days you don't want to dress just put this on with jeans perfect look tank top this one is from reserved um that's just a normal tank top nothing to say um love the fact like it's very elastic love the fabric um and love the color that's it then uh you need tank top but you also need the body so i have this white one from primark it's an old one one of mine love it uh, then you have the Zara one, the basic as well, which are nice. I uh, love the fabric, love the color. I think I might take one in black. And another ripped up is this one. So I didn't realize it was that dirty, so of course, sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, so you can do a knot at the end, like what's the behind. So it's very elegant. So I have my, uh, a look of me in New York uh, where I'm wearing this these trousers and this top and just actually it's not it might not be this one in New York no it wasn't this top in New York okay forget what I said but still I could wear this with some heels perfect for work or just like that so for my shoes if I only had to consider that I only need three pairs of shoes at the moment these three would be my favorite one and of course they're all black first converse um, high top, of course, no low top, uh, and also, especially not the double decker or whatever, like the one with the platforms. I hate them. It's, I find them so difficult to work to walk in them. I don't know why. Anyway, Converse, perfect casual pair of shoes. These boots, um, I know they're quite heavy and chunky. These are from Office, uh, but they're perfect. Like I can still wear them to work. Also, if I want to, like I wore them when I went to. Uh, restaurant with a friend, it's still with a jeans, it's still the perfect look, so I will still have them in spring, maybe not summer when it's time to be like a bit too much, but these are perfect. Then for work, I would choose this pair of loafer. These are from ASOS. Um, they're nice. I do feel like they're not comfortable enough on the bottom, like the sole is not the best one, but for the moment and for how much I, how often I wear them, they are perfect. And then onto my bags. So I'm going to try to do my bags. I have so many bags, but I would say two that I will wear often at the moment. First, this vintage Longchamp one. It used to belong to my mom. Um, and it's a beautiful color, colorful. I need some color because I don't wear a lot of colorful clothes as you can see in this video. But my bags are always in color. Second bag that I would wear, it would be this one, red, um, from Lovie Paris. It's a brand that doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, that's also a perfect item for spring. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what are your favorite items for this transitional uh, season, for spring. Uh, let me know in comments which item of mine was your favorite one. And I will see you soon for another video. I don't know which one I will do at the moment. Let's see, but I'll reserve you a big surprise. Uh, in the meantime, um, if you want to talk with me on other platforms, I'm available on TikTok, Instagram, as well as my blog. I will post a review article, article with all those uh, items. Um, yeah, and also don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye.